I'm Dan Ackerman, and we are here taking a look at the Alienware 18, a very unusual computer indeed, in that it's a big 18-inch desktop replacement gaming system, and even most of the gaming laptops that we've seen this year have actually been this new breed of smaller 13-inch uh, and 14-inch gaming systems, maybe the kind that you're going to plug into an external monitor uh, and only use the built-in screen when you're traveling or when you don't want to bother with that. This guy, gigantic 18-inch uh, 1920 by 1080 screen, this is primarily the display you're going to use. I can't imagine this dragging this over to a TV and plugging it into uh, you know, an even larger screen, even though it does have HDMI and mini display port outputs. Pretty much everything you need is built into here. It's going to take up your entire desk. Uh, the thing is gigantic and it weighs more than 12 pounds just like this. If you add in the gigantic AC adapter, then it's more than 15 pounds. Now, Alienware did sort of stack the deck a little bit when they sent us this configuration. It's super high end. Uh, it's, it's got a top of the line Intel Core i7. It has got uh, a 512 gig SSD and a regular hard drive on top of that. It's it's got two uh, NVIDIA GeForce uh, 780 graphics cards, and it's got a whopping 32 gigabytes of RAM. I don't think I've ever actually gotten that in a laptop to review before. You put all that together, uh, it's more than $4,000 for this particular very, very, very high-end configuration, although the base model starts at about $2,100. Uh, but at that level, you're not really buying a super gaming machine, which I think is really what you want from this guy. Now, we've got all the uh, typical Alienware bells and whistles, you know, the light up touchpad, all the different lighting zones here and there, and the build quality and the construction, uh, you know, it's, it's excellent because Alienware is part of Dell and they can afford to design and build these big gaming chassis, whereas if you get a gaming laptop from a boutique PC maker, it's generally an off-the-shelf body that they buy that's maybe not specially made for gaming and they just cram all this high-end stuff into it. So that's the real advantage here. You get this big kind of matte black slab, maybe a little bit like the obelisk in 2001, just sort of lands on your desk takes up the entire thing. If you're going to spend that much money, you certainly want to trick this out all the way up to the top and we can play just about any current PC game cranked all the way up to the top levels. I was playing Battlefield 4 in Ultra Mode and it worked just fine. Uh, but keep in mind, this is not something that's even remotely portable. It fits the definition of laptop only in the broadest sense of the word. I'm Dan Ackman and that is the Alienware 18.